on this episode of Multicam Crash Course, we're going to look at three reasons why we would want to use the Multicam app for recording. You may think, why on earth would I want to use the Multicam, a streaming app for recording? But I'm here to tell you, recording has some incredible benefits through the Multicam app. Now, I want to be honest with you, I'm doing an experiment with myself in the middle of recording this video. I have set Auto Director to on, and I've turned it so that it switches cameras every 10 seconds. None of them waited more than the other. Uh, we haven't looked at that setting in detail yet, but I do want you to know that that is a, a possibility. I have my Mevo Plus in front of me that I'm talking to now. I have two Mevo Starts beside it. The Mevo Start to its to my right from there um, is now active, and so I can see a red light when it is in record mode, when we're recording to the SD card, and it's the active one. I, it gives me a red light saying it is on. So every time I see that red light switch, I know to change which camera I'm talking to. This may be frustratingly comical, or comically frustrating, <laughs> whichever way you may see it, but I'm going to try to chase that red light while I'm recording this video, just as a practice of how to use three, a three camera setup whenever I'm trying to record or stream with the Mevo Multicam app. Today we're looking at recording. Once all of our cameras are on the same network with our control device, then we click this connect button. The record button then is right here on the screen. Tapping the record button brings up this splash page, which gives you the option record to device, record angle backups to all Mevo SD cards. Now that's device recording and camera recording. That's a great benefit to using the multicam app as our recording app, not just a streaming app. Now there's the great benefit. I have the ability to record everything that runs through this recording onto what I'm using, my iPad. You may be using a different tablet or a phone. Either way, it's going to record to that device every change of camera. It's going to record your audio all to that one device. Now, it's only going to record the audio that you have set up in the Multicam app. It's not going to record the audio from each of the devices that would be a mess. But what you end up with, if you practice a little bit and get pretty good at it, is a fairly easy to edit version of what you want because your cameras are switching for you or you're switching the cameras in your app the way you want to and you have a somewhat more polished product when you use the device recording because it's going to put all of the of the blended, the transitions it's going to put all of that on the device, on your iPad or your phone, your tablet, whatever. And it's going to give that to you as a final product when you're finished recording. Device recording is one of the great reasons why using the Multicam app is a great thing for recording, not just for streaming. Then we also see on this same splash page is camera recording. Now that's going to give us up to three individual recordings because we're going to have each camera's SD card recording what that camera is seeing, never switching off of it. So maybe you missed part of where you were supposed to be looking, or maybe you missed part of the action. I'll, I'll explain why it's such a great benefit for live streaming sports in just a moment. Maybe you missed part of it. You can go back and pull the video footage from the SD card of each camera when you have camera recording on. And it's not taking the overall sound that you've set up in the multicam app, it's taking the sound from that camera, whatever that camera is set up to record from. So you have another, uh, another version of what you've been recording available for you for edit, which if you're recording and, and that's part of what your normal, uh, normal setup is, you know the great benefit, the great value of having a backup source, having more sources to be able to take into production whenever you start to edit with your, with your footage. So device recording and camera recording are two incredible reasons to use the Multicam app for your recording app. 
Now about those live sports streamings, whenever I'm running a live, whenever, whenever I'm running a stream from a baseball game or a football game or maybe a, a volleyball game, one of the things that I recognize about myself, well, and partially because I generally do the public address announcing in addition to streaming at the same time, I'm somewhat distracted. Uh, sometimes just watching the game I get distracted and I forget to tap on where the action is headed or where it's where it is actually at. The benefit of recording with multicam is going to be that I have those backup video footages for any parent that didn't get to see. I saw my kid get the hit and, and it was a close play at first, but I didn't see the camera switch over to first whenever he beat out the throw or whatever. You can go back and you can clip that from the camera recording if you'll save it to SD card at the end um, and then you'll be able to send that to that parent and they'll have that close play at first or whatever piece you might have just barely missed whenever you were doing your live stream if you allow it to record as well. Uh, that's blending the two, streaming and recording, but that is a great benefit of the multicam app as we look at it through this crash course. So device setting, uh, excuse me, device recording, camera recording, and then I want to point you back to our previous uh, crash course, the, the, the first episode, where we looked at image adjustments. And I want to remind you that when you use this app for recording, you have the access to those image adjustments, which means wherever you set up to do your recording, you have the ability to make those image adjustments so that your look, your final product, is going to match the environment where you are. Today I have some natural light coming in, but I also have some artificial light that I'm using. And so the blend of that means I'm using a little bit different image adjustment settings in the place where I am. If I were outdoors, I could match the, the look of the cameras, each of the three, so that I got a consistent look across all of them and I could match that to the setting I'm in. So image adjustments is a great thing to remember from our previous crash course. Use that whenever you're going to be using the multicam as your recording, uh, your recording app. And then finally, uh, there is there is one other in the Mevo settings that I want to point you to. We'll look at the Mevo settings section. There is an action field for the Mevo button. If I tap there. It's going to give me these three choices. No action, in case there's an accidental press of the power button, then nothing happens. Or we can choose for it to record to SD card, which is what I have it set up to do, which means if I press the Mevo power button when it is already powered on, the red light on the front will come on and it will begin recording whatever is in front of it. Sound settings are already, however they're configured, there's nothing to change. There's no app to go into. You are just recording like you would point and shoot with any other camera. It begins to record. The third option is that you can have you can actually set it up to go ahead and begin streaming when you press the power button. Now, if it's pre-configured, if everything is set up from the last time you used it, it will stream to the same place with the same title, all such features as you would imagine. This gives you the ability to quickly Power your Mevo up. Don't have to worry about connecting it to a, a source. It just records. You don't have to be attached to a device. You don't have to worry about internet connection. If you're just going to record with the Mevo as a camera, point it at what you're pointing it at, record what you're going to record right quick, and you've got it on the SD card saved. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, I would appreciate you considering subscribing to this channel. As always, a like on this video, a thumbs up always helps in getting our videos shown to more viewers on YouTube. Thank you for your support of this channel.